Hello, my friend. It is my favorite video of the month. It is Favorites and Fails Countdown Time, where we count from the worst product that I tried this month, counting all the way to the best product that I tried this month. And I have some very interesting picks for you from completely ineffective, performs badly, all the way up to completely shocked <laughs> that this is actually something that's fantastic. So if you want to see what I've been trying, and loving and not loving so much. Hang tight. We are getting into it right now. Before we get into number 10, I always start my favorites and fails countdowns with a hashtag not sponsored feature. The reason why it is hashtag not sponsored is because I am constantly getting companies reaching out to me trying to sponsor my favorites videos to strategically place their product in there. And I think that's super weird. So I just choose not to do that. And instead I talk about something that I am not paid to tell you. And not, of course, none of the products I'm talking about today, I've been paid to talk to you about. Some of them, however, are PR samples that I've gotten from the brand, but they will be clearly labeled up in the corner what is purchased and what is PR. Usually my hashtag not sponsored feature is something that's not makeup related, either an app or products I've been loving, things like that. And today I wanna to talk to you about something that I've loved for a really long time and I've actually mentioned it before, but I wanted to do a dedicated focus on Tee Public. Now Tee Public is a place where people can upload different designs and then people can order those designs. And this particular shirt that I just ordered from Tee Public, oh my gosh, I love it so much. So if you can't read it, it's in like a like a death metal kind of font. It says live, laugh, love. <laughs> <laughs> which I thought was fabulous when I saw this design and I had to purchase it. But one thing I do wanna let you know about this website right off the bat is they have sales all the time. If you see things at full price, you just wait. Just wait, unless you need it right that second wait because the shirts can go up to like 20 some dollars, but when they're on sale, which is like at least 50% of the time, they're 14. Someday I should just show you my entire Tee Public collection because I, I think I have like maybe 20 shirts <laughs> I've ordered from there. I wear them a lot in live chat. So if you see like a goofy shirt that I'm wearing, it's most likely from Tee Public. So now that we've done the hashtag not sponsored feature, let's go ahead into number 10, which is the worst product that I tried this month. All right, so the worst product I tried this month was actually sent in PR and it just doesn't do what it's supposed to do. This is the Undone Beauty Sheer Radiance Serum Tint Enhancer Wand for Lit From Within Glow. Now, I feel like honestly, the front of that, it does kind of do that. But the back of it, it doesn't do any of this stuff. So let me read you what it says on the back. Uh, why do we need a fistful of primer, concealer, highlighter, and cream shadow to get that glow? We undid that with this unique dab on brightening serum with light enhancing micro pigments that magically conceals, highlights, and contours infused with, and it's infused with a bunch of stuff for natural glow. So I have shaken this up. I have, you know, made sure that the product was coming out. I've used this like three times and there is no pigment. I am going to rub, 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 rub just to make sure I get the most out of this. Like we are going to load up. We're going to let it dry down. La, 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 la. So you can see my hand just has the tiniest, teeniest, tiniest bit of shine on it. Here's my other hand just for reference of no shine and just a little bit of shine, which is fine. It's a fine product, but don't tell me it's gonna conceal and contour when it looks like that. That makes no sense to me. So if they had just stuck with the whole sheer radiance with the enhancing wand for a lip with, with, from Within Glow that is a serum, I would be fine. But when you tell me this is gonna contour, I expect to see some pigment. When you tell me this is gonna conceal, I expect to see a lot of pigment. So yeah, not a fan. Not a fan at all. 
is a purchased product from Milani. I love me some Milani, but this is a miss, unfortunately. We talked about this in my makeup news show, What's Up in Makeup, and I was really excited for them because I thought the shade ranges looked absolutely beautiful, and this was the one that called to me the most. This one is in the shade Call Me Old Fashioned, and I love cool tone browns. I love taupey shades. Like, this is right up my alley, but this is chalky as hell. Like, this reminds me of, like, old school Maybelline Revlon palettes, but a little bit elevated, just a little bit. Let me go ahead and swatch this baby for you. I will say I am kind of exaggerating that it's as bad as like an old school CoverGirl palette or whatever. It's really not that bad, but it's just, it's disappointing. All right, I'm gonna double swatch this one right here because I, I honestly don't think I got enough product on my finger. It's just, it's really chunky in the pan and I didn't wanna pick up too much. The swatches actually don't look that terrible. You can see a little bit of chalkiness like in this far one right here and definitely the first one, but the middle ones actually swatched pretty well. Let me show you the pan though, which is another problem. So you see the shade right here, how chunky it is. That shade is really difficult to work with to pick up properly on the brush and then apply because it creates a ton of fallout. The same with this guy right here. It's not quite as bad as this one, but it's still like, it's difficult to work with. I would say the good shades in here are these two in the middle. These work pretty good. Like these are these are solid. The best shade is probably this matte one right here. I feel like we're at the point where we expect drugstore formula to be very good and this is just not. It's, I would say if I'm gonna be like straight up compared to like the worst eyeshadow palette I've ever tried, all the way the best, I will put this at like a five, maybe a six maybe a six. I just expect more. I think just my standards have risen, you know? Number seven is more PR from Benefit this time, and I have not gotten Benefit PR in freaking forever. Now this is the Fluff Up Brow Wax, and I do want to apologize because I did show this as a product that I was using and trying in What's Up in Makeup, and I accidentally showed you the wrong product. <laughs> I had finished using the product and then I threw it back in my drawer and when I grabbed, tried to grab it back out, I accidentally grabbed this one instead of this one. I accidentally grabbed the 24 hour brow setter and I should have known because a wand is totally different. This is the 24 hour brow setter wand and this is the wand of the new product which is the fluff up brow wax. I have no, I'm, I was just going too fast I guess, I don't know but this is, this is the brow setter wand. It is uh, like a white primary looking product and I've used it quite a few times at this point and I do like it, but I don't love it. I feel like it gives my brows a little bit of a crunchy feel, which I'm not a big fan of. And I don't feel like it holds my brows as long as let's say the Anastasia new jelly brow thingy. I'll get that too. Hold on. I feel like I have to show you. This one right here, the brow freeze. I really freaking love this. I'm not a fan of, of Anastasia Beverly Hills and the choices they made and we got we got issues, me and them, but I can't deny this is a fantastic freaking product. This does not feel crunchy in the brows, holds my brows all damn day. This this is just like, like it, does, it just isn't as good when it comes down to it. I mean, it's, it's okay. I think if you're not trying to do like serious fluffy brows and you just want them to kind of stay naturally where they stay, I think you're gonna be fine with this. And also if you don't mind it being a tiny bit crunchy, I think you'll be okay. But this is to me so much better of a product. I think that's where I was hoping that this would go and it didn't quite make it. Next up, I have more PR from Essence that I wanna share with you. This one is a little bit better, but I do still have some nitpicks with it. This is the Essence Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation. And I like this. It's not fabulous, but I like it. I feel like the finish is a little bit lacking. It makes my dry patches look just a little bit more dry than I like. I do agree though that it is long lasting. I feel like it does have a good lasting power. It'll last me a good solid six to eight hours of like, 
home, no sweating kind of use. It's easy to blend, easy to go on, but I just, I don't like the finish quite as much as other foundations, especially a number one is gonna be a foundation I'm gonna share with you in a bit that I love so much more, uh, but this is a good one. It's good, it's just, if you have any kind of texture, you may wanna not get this one, but if your skin is like normal skin, you don't have a lot of texture, maybe you're really young, you don't have a lot of that stuff going on, maybe you'll really, really like this, and it is at a very nice price point. Right in the middle is a product that I love so much. It has changed my life. But again, I have very small critiques with it. This right here. I'm not a hair person, okay? But this has been freaking amazing. This is the Revlon Curly Guy. What is this? I'm putting it on the screen because I can't remember what it's called and it's definitely not called Curly Guy. And it's not written on here anywhere. anywhere. It's it's just, it's a, it's a brush. It's a hair dryer brush. So what you do is you plug this business in. Let me un uncurl this. And I know I'm probably not supposed to store it like that. You can store them however you want. That's the way I store mine. So what you do is you turn the hair dryer on and you go like this and you blow dry your hair like this as the air comes out of the brush. And it kind of gives you like, out if you went to the salon and someone, you know, blew dry your hair with a round brush or whatever. And it works really, 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 really well. I feel like this paired with the Fakai stuff that I got in the sponsor video for FabFitFun has been a game changer for my hair. My biggest critique of this is you do have to be careful if you're like gonna take it like this and roll it up sometimes it can get a little stuck so you just have to be careful especially if you have a lot of hair and the other thing is is I'm having trouble and maybe if you're a hair person you can help me with this I'm having trouble getting it to dry my roots properly like I put it here and kind of trying to get it to dry my roots and it just doesn't seem to get there so what I end up doing is I end up taking a regular hair dryer after I'm done like drying most of this um, and I kind of you know pull it up here and I do the thing and then I use my hair dryer to really get like right deep in my roots especially like back in here and stuff I can usually get like up in here but like way in the back I have trouble getting it so those are the only critiques I have with this overall I freaking love it I also want to mention I did get in PR it's basically the same freaking thing this is by Koki uh, and this is their version of the same exact thing from Revlon this performs exactly the same so if you want a pink one you might want to try looking at the one from Koki the only thing is is that the handle on this is very slightly larger so I found that my hand got a little bit more tired using it because my grip was spread out just a little bit more so I didn't like this one as much as I liked the Revlon one but just by the tiniest bit and it really had to do with the grip on it rather than the performance of like the dryer itself the dryer itself I felt like was identical so I figured I would show you that just because oh, I'm dropping it so I figured I would show you that just in case you were interested in this one or if you wanted a pink one you know that's another option at number four, a product that I purchased and am very much enjoying. This is the Revolution IRL Filter Finish in the shade C4. This is a soft matte concealer. This is a beautiful full coverage concealer. My only critique about it, because I always have something, is that I do feel like after I apply it, I do have to like pull down here and pat, pat, pat a little bit in my fine lines just to make sure that it's fully blended and not caking up. But once I've done that, I do that before I finish my makeup routine. Once I've done that, I feel like this is fantastic. Lasting power is amazing. Uh, the coverage is fantastic. I don't have super dark, dark circles, but it covers my mild dark circles very well. And I have had other discoloration that I've covered up with it and been absolutely just very, very happy with it. One thing I love about it is the doe foot is super fun. It's unique, but not so unique that it's distracting. It's like this little paddly thing. Have you seen that on another concealer? I really love this because you can lay it like nice and flat. It's at a perfect angle and you lay it nice and flat and it just feels nice. Like the, it holds nice, it applies nice. I'm just very much enjoying it. Numbers one, two, and three, I have zero complaints. Zero. No critiques, no complaints. Here we go. I got this in a gift set that I bought 
during the holidays. And I love this. This is the Kaja Love Swipe and this is in the shade 06 Adore You. These are so nice. Like you know whippy liquid lipsticks? Like there's tons of them. Tons of whippy liquid lipsticks. But this one is whippy and relatively sheer. I'll swatch it for you here so you can see. It is just goes on so comfortably and it's got kind of a blurring effect on the lips. It's so pretty and you can see, you can see my skin through it which I personally really like sometimes. Like it's not as sheer as like a tinted balm, but it's not as opaque as a liquid lipstick. And it smells, it smells so good. It's got like a berry, ooh, did I just, put, look at that. Okay, fixed, right? Did I get it? Any bats in the cave? No, okay, we're good. It smells like, like berries, like it's like berry ice cream, not sorbet ice cream. It smells freaking phenomenal. And I'm just very much enjoying it. Um, I do actually have one little critique, but it's like, I, what else would I expect? The Lasting Power is not fabulous. It lasts like a traditional like lipstick, but I don't know how this kind of formula would last longer than that, just because it's so whippy and smooth and comfortable. These never really have a super long lasting power, so I don't even know how they would do that. But very, very much enjoying this if you're looking for something that has a tint, but not super, super opaque and just really comfortable and smells great. Number two is what I have on my eyes today. Thank you all so much for all the compliments on my eye look for, I think it was my... Was it, it was a fab fit fun video and then what's up in makeup a couple of weeks ago. I had this on my eyes for both videos. I have it on my eyes again today. This is the ColourPop Flirty Talk Palette. It is their Valentine's Day palette and I freaking love this. I but would never have bought this because red eyeshadow terrifies me. <laughs> Pink eyeshadow, I'm not quite as terrified of, but I never would have purchased this. Not in a million years. And I am really, really loving it. It's helped me get out of my comfort zone. It's helped me to just really have fun with this particular color. And I'm so thankful. I'm just really thankful to have gotten to try this and performance of this is freaking phenomenal. Let me do some swatches for you. Let's see how many I can get on my arm. This one right here is kind of chunky and does have a lot of fallout. Yeah, you just got to be really careful to follow out on the pink. I am wearing it on my eyes in the middle today, like the center to the middle, and it, it's definitely got some good solid fallout. This one in the corner is like a super shock formula. It's very soft. I've got to start swatching them a little closer together else I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. See, I feel like this is opposite of the Milani. <laughs> the way it performs on the eye is so much better than the swatches right now. But if these are one dip swatches, if you do two dips, then they will build up. So here is the whole palette. Man, that looks like trash, dude. That looks so freaking bad. Oh my gosh, it looks so bad. Let me do another. Let me just swatch over them again because I don't feel like that's, that's what it looks like on my eyes. <laughs> okay, here's the second swatch. This is how they build. Like I said, if I saw swatches of these, I never would have bought them. But I feel like I'm coming out with so many pretty freaking looks, man. I will tell you though, I am still kind of scared of these two shades because they're they're like blood red. They're a little terrifying. But if you're not scared of blood red shades, then you'll probably get some good use out of those as well. I don't think I've used those yet. I think those are the only two I haven't used. Oh, I also want to mention something. So if you're new here, hi, welcome. I like to put eyeshadow on my lips. So, so today I used the M Cosmetics liquid lipstick in a shade that I can't read because apparently my eyes are failing me. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a picture of it and see if that helps. This this is the, the, the my eyes are starting to fail cheat. Take a picture of it and then zoom it in. Muted mauve. Yep, I think it says muted mauve. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I took a picture of it upside down because I genuinely could not read it. Muted mauve from M Cosmetics. This is another whippy formula kind of like that, but it's more opaque. So I used that and then I stuck cuddle up right in the middle. And now my lips look shiny and juicy and I love it so much. So that's another use I've been using this for is to kind of like enhance my pink lipsticks that I've been kind of venturing into lately and really enjoying. And then finally at number one, we have the Revlon. Illuminance Skin Caring Foundation. 
Oh my goodness, my friend. So this is shade 217 and I have not had this nice of a match of color of foundation in a very, very long time. It matches me freaking perfectly. The finish on this is so freaking pretty. It reminds me a lot of the La Mer foundation that I had purchased many years ago and now it's old. It just goes on so smoothly and makes my skin look absolutely good gorgeous there's no caking on anywhere there it goes it's on very smooth it's beautiful if wolf revlon knows how to do two things it's foundation and lipstick and they need to play into that because they are in bankruptcy right now and they need to keep going it's a nice medium coverage foundation which is what i love especially for filming it's absolutely beautiful i didn't mention this one's more of a medium coverage as well this one honestly it's the finish for me the finish is just so soft focus beautiful it's not too mad it's not too dewy it's just perfect so i'm going to be really sad if revlon goes out of business and i cannot purchase another one of these when i want to because i i've got a new favorite foundation i'm very excited about this and at this point my friend it is your turn in the collective brain of makeup awesomeness where we help each other not to buy crap and to buy things that are totally worth it i would love to know your thoughts down in the comments down below because i just i'm just one person i have one face i have one opinion i have one skin type and one skin tone and everybody is different so there may be a product here that you tried that I love that you didn't like, or maybe something that I liked that you hated. <laughs> I would love to know your thoughts and why you think we might be different on that so we can all help each other to not buy crap. Or if you agree with me, I would love to know that too because that just reinforces it for the community of whether these would be good purchases or not. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to hang out just a little bit longer, YouTube should be recommending a couple videos for you right over here to watch, including one that I picked out for you special right down at the bottom. YouTube picked the top one for you, but if you do need to go, it is is no problem at all. Thank you for hanging out as long as you did. And I'd love to, and I will see you in a video very, very soon.